What's good, Fly Techs? It's your boy, Not So Technical Thomas, the Fly Technician itself. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your home into a smart home, at least start it. The top three products that I'm going to recommend to turn your home into a smart home. First up, you got to keep all that fly stuff that you buy safe, you know what I'm saying? I keep the intruders out. What you go with? Boom. We got here, Slade Smart Lock. Essential. This is the first thing you should be buying. Safety is always first, right? Alright, so... It takes some, a little bit of programming and a little bit of, you know, installation know-how to set up. But once you have it, it's definitely, definitely worth it. So, it can be controlled remotely through your phone. It has an app. And when I show you this other device, you can control it from anywhere you're at. You, the keypad lights up, you hit it, and then once you have it set up and running, it'll totally make you forget about using the key. My girlfriend doesn't even know where her house key is anymore. So, this is a must-have. Drawbacks with this. It runs on regular batteries, so of course they die. It sends you notifications, and sometimes it just whacks out. Sometimes it doesn't want to open, but that's rare occurrences. The, the problems do not outweigh the benefits with this. This is number one in your smart home journey. It's the first thing you should get. If you're trying to turn your home to a smart house, you have to protect it. This is number one. All right, so number two, what we got up next. You got to, you know what I'm saying, you got to keep your house regulated. You have to. You have to. So what we got here? Boom. That's the Nest. This is the Nest. Smart thermostat. Love this thing. It'll save you money. It analyzes your patterns when you're going and when you're coming. It turns off the air. You control it again through your phone, through an app, like everything else. And you can actually connect all these things I'm bringing to you. You connect all of them together. So when you open your lock, this will come on too. But I'll show you the third product, how you will connect that. But yeah, this is very essential. It's easy. You just scroll up to it. You scroll through it. Nice illuminated screen. I have a separate video on this also. Um, this is essential. This is essential. Uh, it's, it's smart. It learns your patterns and everything like I said before. This is definitely a must buy. The Nest Smart Learning Thermostat. The, the fact that it just learns when you go and when you come is just, you can't beat it. It saves you money on your bill. And I know if you're... If you live in a state like I am, you can get a tax right off just for having something like this as far as regulating your air and your temperature and all those cool things. So yeah, the Nest Smart Thermostat. This is a must buy. This is my number two pick in making your home a smart home. All right, what we got in there? Put this up. All right, so the product I've been talking about that connects all these products to together, the number three product you should buy, the Samsung smart up. It's the smart things. This right here is the brains to automating your home to being a smart home. This right here will connect this, the lock. It will connect this right here. So say you could program it for the lock to every time you open it and hit your code for your air to come on to the temperature that you like. All that goes through here. All that goes through here. So you will program your lock through here, your program, your nest through here. This is smart things hub. You could go with this or you could go with the wink hub. Uh, the wink hub is a lot cheaper. But I personally went with this one after doing the reviews and the research. Found that this one had a lot more capabilities. Uh, to be honest with you though, this uh, it does have a lot of quirks and hip hiccups. They're, shout out to Samsung because they're constantly updating it. But it does have a lot of quirks and hiccups. The app is not really up to par uh, for my liking. But you have to start with some type of smart hub, whether it be Wink, whether it be this one. There's, there's a lot of smart hubs out there, but this is the particular one I chose. Pretty much 80% happy with this. Uh, probably eventually be trying to, the uh, Wink just to see how it is. But this is a cool starting one. Um, if you wanted to work with the smart lock, you actually have to, to download another app that some other outside developer created. Of course, it's open source, but you need this to control your lock and your thermostat so they could talk to each other. This is the brains, this is the central brains of your smart home operation. So yes, you need this. They, these two things can work independently, like the, the smart thermostat and the lock can all work independently. You can use them with your cell phone, but if you want them all to work together, which is the goal of having a smart home, you want to make sure that you get some type of connective smart hub. The links will be in the description for all this cool stuff, but yeah, like I said, all this stuff comes with an app. It's all dope, and these will be my top three things. But I got something else for you. As a bonus, 
if you got the extra bread or if you get it in pieces, I would highly and strongly suggest to help run all these three things together so you can be a little bit more hands off. You ain't gotta be always be running to your app. Oh. This this would be my bonus pickup if you can see that. That's the Google Home. That's gonna be so as I said, the smart hub is the, the brains. It can't talk to you. This is this is gonna be your, your translator for all three of these devices. So when I say, okay, Google, turn the nest on. Or okay, Google set the temperature to 58. 72 it does it. it understands me i don't have to actually go on my phone get out of bed and open it up so this is actually a major key it, it talks to all these devices it, it kind of puts a voice to all your devices it makes your home a vocal part of being smart so i would highly highly suggest this um it has some integration with the lock you know as time goes on the apps get better and you know the developers when the open software they get better and making the apps better hopefully if they don't abandon it so i can open up my lock from this i can turn on my nest from this i control a lot of i try to connect everything through my smart hub so i can just talk to it and i ain't got to open up the app another thing so i got log i keep getting logged out my nest app for some reason and i don't want to have to put in my login my password and all that stuff it's it's already hooked up through my smart things which is hooked up through my google home and i just say those magic words okay you know who don't want to say it because it keeps setting off my Google. Um, and I just, I don't even have to log in or get out of bed or hit no app. It just turns on my air conditioning and checks the lock and weather, whatever. So this is a another key if you have this, my bonus pick right here. It's really four, but if I had to do top three, those are the top three main things. The Nest, the Hub, and the Lock. But if I had to throw in another one, boom. This is Smash approved too. He loves this thing. I love this thing. And we rock out heavy with it. It does all kind of games and stuff. I actually have a review for it. Uh, a couple review videos for it of all what the Google Home can do. But this is definitely a pickup alongside of everything. So yeah, that's essentially your smart home starter kit. You got your Google Home. You got your Slave Smart Lock. Pick this up first. You got your Got your Nest smart thermostat, control your temperature. Can't get too hot, can't get too cold with that. Your family will love you for it. And you got your Wink Hub, this is the brains of your operation. So these are the things, this is your starter pack for making your smart home. So shout out to all my fly techs out there, pound sign, fly tech. Follow me on Google Plus, Instagram. Hit that subscribe button, man. I'm growing. I'm sitting here. I'm going to be reviewing everything, bringing you all the cool stuff. I might show off my kicks a few times on the Instagram. So follow me on Instagram at Not So Technical Thomas. We have a little fun on there, be a little bit silly. And just, you know, rock out with me. Shout out to my fly techs. Peace.